Well, first of all, charges were never filed. Uh, Bob Beckett uh, gave those uh, charges, uh, those, uh, the, charge, the request for charges, uh, to a prosecutor. In fact, we uh, found out during an investigation that at least uh, three, uh, possibly four, prosecutors looked at that case, one from outside of Knight County, and the, uh, they felt the charges were viable. In fact, one prosecutor came actually uh, came up with additional charges, which Ted Holmes did violate the law. But we were uh, we're looking for the uh, charging document be filed against the charges we did, impersonating a peace officer, uh, obstructing, resisting uh, arrest. And remember, at one point he was, try he was trying to go for it in an area where there was a shotgun. At which point the deputies, uh, you know, uh, took him into control uh, for their safety. And what was happening is that uh, we, were rec we were waiting for the prosecutor to file the charges. Well, what turned out to be about two weeks ago, we got information uh, that we were just, the charges were going to be filed. It turned out that we got information that Bob Beckett had the charges, uh, had the case filed just before charges were being filed against Ted Holmes removed from that prosecutor. And that shortly thereafter, um, yesterday, we discovered that Bob Beckett himself uh, filed lax prosecutorial merit. Well, uh, we're going by an interview. We actually have recorded interviews uh, where uh, the prosecutor said he was getting ready to file charges, and he was kind of shocked and amazed that, um, and I, you know, that the uh, the DA would then take remove this case from him. Uh, we uh, had additional information that uh, that uh, Bob Beckett uh, was going to. Um, you know, deny the charges. Based upon a meeting, we're finding out there was apparently there was a meeting between Bob Beckett, T Ted Holmes, and uh, Mel Jackson within a justice complex. And we're going to get additional information in reference to that. Uh, but what was amazing is that after three, three, possibly four prosecutors, one being from outside of Nye County was, was asked to review this, uh, found out there was probable cause, and actually there was enough to charge Mr. Ted Holmes for the crimes that we heard. Uh, then uh, we are a couple of days ago, we did file a criminal case. We don't know where the case is going to go. It can go in the fact of obstructing and clearing, obstructing of justice. It could go into a conspiracy charge. We don't know because right now that investigation is ongoing, but we already have evidence uh, that we're looking at uh, to proceed in that manner. Ted Holmes' case was not dismissed. In my opinion that lacks prosecution merit. We have witnesses say it did have prosecution merit. We're going to uh, we're going to give that case file to the special prosecutor so he can look at that and possibly refile. And Ted Holmes's case was never dismissed. Ted Holmes' case never went to court. The only way the case could be finally adjudicated where Ted Holmes would not be recharged again would be if a judge ruled um, dismissed with prejudice. That did not occur. So right now we're looking at all the cases that Brookwood has, has done and cases in the past, present, and the future to be given to a, a special prosecutor taken outside the hands of the DA's office. This case, Ted Holmes, uh, is one of the cases that's going to be definitely given to the pre special prosecutor review for possible filing. And a reference to Mr. Holmes requesting that he get his property back, the property does not belong to him. Uh, we're in contact with the Riverside uh, Sheriff's Office there, Sheriff's Department, and they stated that uh, they're going to, they want us to hold on to that until the final adjudication of the uh, case takes place. And when that occurs, uh, we have a letter from them uh, stating that when it occurs, that, in, that uh, property, their property is to be returned to them and not to Mr. Holmes. But like I said, is that um, uh, Mr. Holmes was an error. The case was never dismissed. And Mr. Holmes doesn't understand the judicial system. We do. Uh, Mr. Ted Holmes was not aware that we were looking in, into Mr. Bob Beckett's inappropriate behavior and possibly uh, some criminal charging being done to people involved in some type of criminal action in reference to this case. And we already have information that at least three prosecutors, perhaps before, one being outside of Knight County, did look at this case, and they had said those charges were viable. Mr. Bob Beckett now is politicizing the criminal justice system, uh, we believe, for some type of a gain. Uh, we'll, we will know that uh, as our investigation uh, proceeds in a logical manner. And uh, as far as Riverside County, you're talking about his badge. They requested that you guys not return Ted Holmes' badge to him. That to be returned to them. It's kind of interesting. We found out that when uh, Mr. Tenholms went to the DA's office and tried to get the DA's office to release the property, uh, we told them basically that we could not release the property to Mr. Holmes. It's not his property. And they asked us, where is that in writing? And we told them, if you looked at the case file that we uh, supplied to the DA's office, that letter was inside the case file. 
and like I said, um, that uh, we um, we had already looked into the fact we had information way before, at least a week, a week and a half uh, before Mr. Beckett denied the charges that he had that case, that child, he had that case removed from the prosecutor that was that he appointed, uh, that he assigned that case to, and that prosecutor uh, was getting ready to file a charge against Ms. Holmes. Now, that occurred after Mr. Mr. Beckett's arrest, when Mr. Beckett then went to that uh, ass uh, that assigned prosecutor to have that case file removed. So the the uh, the suspicions are there that there's at least some type of collaboration uh, going on and that there could possibly be some type of criminal charging uh, going, uh, that may come down in the near future. As that case progresses, I said we're looking at witnesses, we're looking at evidence. Uh, we have more witnesses that, uh, that we have to interview. And uh, we're going to take a very logical approach. This case is being removed from the, de from, the, from the detective's office. We have another investigator assigned to this that's not involved in any of the cases that, um, that are being investigated um, uh, by, the, by the detective bureau at this time. So it's going to be an independent uh, member in the county sheriff's office who already has um, some, uh, has some ground uh, that he has covered and uncovered this particular um, information, which we have a recorded interview with uh, on this on this. Uh, on this particular uh, uh, case and the allegations uh, that we're making that Mr. Beckett uh, is using inappropriate um, authority to interfere with, uh, with justice, possibly obstructed. As the case progresses, we'll decide with what charges uh, will be filed.